This is Sam Drinks Beer and this is a beer review. Beer today comes from a brewery I've never had anything from before. It's a brewery called Alter Ego. They're based in Derbyshire. I think a lot of their beers are sort of like sort of themed around sort of like superheroes and comic books and stuff. This one's called The Big Bad, so like the main villain. Uh, yeah, it's a barley wine. Um, English barley wine featuring locally grown North Down hops. The hops were added at the end of the brewing process and at a lower temperature to retain North Down's delicate hop aroma. So yeah, it's going to be a sort of, maybe have a bit of hop character. Uh, they're a small brewery based in Derbyshire, passionately producing full flavoured beers in cask, keg, cannonball. I think they're quite a highly rated brewery. Like I said, first thing I've ever had from, from them, so I'll judge them based on this beer. Quite frothy. I do like a barley wine. They're like proper like, proper like autumn beers, aren't they? And we're in autumn now, we're in October. So let's see how this is. It's one lively motherfucker, this is. Oh, it smells a sort of malty. Bit of toffee, sweet, floral. Almost candy like smell. Bit of brown sugar. It smells very sweet, very malty. Smells like a sort of like a classic sort of real ale, but it's quite a sort of pale colour. It looks almost like a sort of lager, the colour. Yes, let's dive into it. Oh, it's very malty. Lots of dried fruit, raisins, your sultanas. A little bit of nuttiness. I have to say this is tasting like a proper sort of winter beer, like one you want round a fire in a pub. Bit of treacle, syrup, toffee caramel. Nice body to it. A little bit of hoppiness as well. A little bit of breadiness. There's a little bit of like a lager-like quality to it. I'm not just saying that's because it's the uh, colour of lager, but there is like a sort of like breadiness. In fact, it's very bready. What percentage was it? Eight point one percent. I don't think this was an expensive expensive beer. If it was only like three fifty or something like that. Which for an 8.1% barley wine is pretty good. Like this was in my order from... I've forgotten the name. Uh, Beer Cavern? No. What are they called? Same place I bought the Defeat the Rancor. Beer Hideout, that's it. Yeah, it was from there. You know, and I find their prices are pretty competitive. Yeah, very sweet, syrupy, caramel. I want to say this is like a um, barley wine lager hybrid because there's a lot of lager like flavours and quality to it, like the breadiness and.
I've got the Christmas as well. I, I do apologise if the mic's a bit dodgy because my headphones seem to keep disconnecting from my um, phone, so it's probably going between the mic on my headphones and the mic on my phone. They, they're disconnected at the moment, so I do apologise if there's any audio issues on this video. No, let's rate, let's, 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 let's rate this one up. Got a lot of froth at the um, end of that, bloody hell. It's like literally frothing in the mouth. <laughs> Anyway, let's rate this up. Yeah, it's an interesting beer. I like it. You know, it's not, like I said, it's almost like a barley wine lager hybrid. It's got the sort of barley wine, but it's like a lager like this. It's got the sort of crispness, the sort of the sort of breadiness and refreshment of a lager, but it's got sort of like all the sort of like toffee caramel brown sugar sort of sweet maltiness of a um, sort of like a barley wine so I rate this pardon me could I give this a 4.25 because it's a really nice beer a really interesting take on the barley wine i'll be checking out more from alter ego as a result of this beer so yeah thank you for watching this has been a review of big bad by alter ego a um barley wine um please like and subscribe and um, follow me on instagram sandrix beer yt add me on tap sandrix beer 93 uh drop your comments below and hopefully i'll see you on the next one cheers